Welcome to another video of e-resource management. In this video, we are going to discuss about the most important part in e-resource management and that is administration. We will be talking about the holding list, the maintenance of the holding list, user admin ID and password in order to manage the e-resources, what can be the access restriction, the information about admin module, the maintenance of URL of individual title or the databases and claiming in case of non-receipt of any e-resource or the title. So, as we know that administration in e-resource management includes the privilege to configure, customize and monitor the different administrative modules of publishers, website or e-resource management system. Why it is important? Because nowadays most of the resource is available through web and managing e-resource will become difficult in case the privilege is not defined for different users in different way. I mean to say that every user cannot be given the full access of e-resource or e-resources. So in that case some users have to be authorized with some privileges to configure, customize and monitor the different modules of e-resources. And librarian in this case is supposed to know the method of functionality and how to access to e-resources of these modules. Some of the administration management, how it functions we are going to discuss further and in order the first one is that holding list. For a library professional or a e-resource manager, it is quite challenging to identify and maintain the coverage of the, the particular resource and also check the uniform resource locator per title and this becomes easy if the list of holding is maintained properly. If it is maintained properly it can be displayed in the catalog and this can be a very very useful for the end users, the authorized users in order to access the resources at their end. At the same time, it is also required to update the holding list of e resource if modified or changed because every year either the institute will have to subscribe new resources or renew the existing resources. So in that case, if there is any change in the e resource list, it has to be modified or changed accordingly in the list of holding. The next very important is that user admin ID password. User ID and password of administration administrator should be given to only the user who has been authorized to manage the admin module. User ID 
to the end user interface may exist and need to be changed and managed always. At the very least, the user ID to the administrative site needs to be recorded or remembered. Here it is very important to understand that admin ID and password cannot be given to each user as the resource, every resource has the different technical issues, some important privileges which must be controlled by the administrator or authorized users. So the role of administrator becomes very very respons responsible job here to manage the e-resources wisely in order to provide the access of e-resources to only those users who are in need of those. The next very important is that the restriction on access. There are many restrictions which can be enabled on the e-resources and that is available in the administrative module of the e-resources. The, in the administration module, the features like restriction access of number of concurrent users, location of user, whether user can download material or use the item in course pack or satisfy inner lending request etc should be available. It has to be defined by the administrator to what extent the access is given and restricted. Admin module information as we all know and we have already discussed in the previous slides as it is the central control of the whole components or module of a system and the most important role of the admin module is to control or prevent the already setting parameters from someone else. Permission for admin module must be given to those persons who are authorized for e-resource management. We have already discussed about, about this that the privilege of admin module should not be given to the normal user. Only the authorized users should have the privilege to manage the e-resource to control the e-resource access in effective way. The information could be tracked in this module includes the URL to the administrative module, username and password, open uniform resource locator, loaded holding and various settings that have been made. So the information about admin module is very very important and very very it should be kept confidential to the knowledge of administrator or the authorized users should not be given to everyone. The next is URL maintenance. Sometime URL to e-resources may change and uh, this has to be updated whenever there is a change in the e-resource link to prevent the loss of access because sometimes it happens that publisher changes the link of e-resource and in that case if it is not changed the library may lose the access of e-resource and it will be a loss for library. So the maintenance of uniform resource locator for e-resources are very very important and it should be updated regularly so that the access can continue till you have the subscription period. 
the next and that is very very important that is the claiming we subscribe many resources and for a certain period of time generally we assume that it starts from january 1st of the year to 31st december of the the same year it there may be a chance that some sometimes the excess of that particular resource is missing or is not available due to some technical reason and in that case the excess will not be available to the end users and end users will not be able to access those e-resources. So claiming is what a librarian would be doing when they are tracking down the loss they lose access to an e-resource it happens sometimes that public publishers promise to deliver online content but due to some reason sometimes publication are delayed for a month or year in that case publishers are not able to provide the access to e-resources and when it happens it becomes the challenging job for libraries and libraries don't want to be paying for this because this is not to say that discovery of missing content and claiming it is an easy task often it is based on report from end users rather than a regular process but the need remains so the librarian has to check the access of these resources and also claim for that period if it is not it has not been accessible so it's very challenging job and basically it depends on the report which is generated from the based on the users have used so hope I have been able to make you understand about the administration management of e-resources and the different aspects related to administration in order to manage the e-resources effectively. If you feel any query or question you have, you may reach or you may drop a mail at dptnitrkl at gmail.com or you may reach anytime on the given number here. Thanks for watching this video. We'll have more in next video. Thanks once again.